Nice enough for the... I can't speak English, Jesus. You're doing great. <laughs> Before we go ahead and send this car off to your buddy's photo shoot, I don't want to send him off with his tires looking like this. I want to show how to get the tire shine up into the tread blocks sure. and how to do it so that you don't spray the body panels or the wheels. I like to spray it into the top of the tread blocks. I like to pull the trigger hard and move the bottle while I'm spraying it so that I can get this product into the top of the tread blocks real consistently. Now this little guy is called a pro tire sponge. I'm gonna spray just a little bit into that and then I'm gonna go ahead and level this off. And you're gonna love how the rich dark color looks on the tire. You're gonna notice that it's not crazy high gloss. You also notice that I didn't waste the paint and I didn't waste the wheels with a whole bunch of tire shine. That's not the point. The chances of you touching the wheel a little bit with a sponge while you're doing the tire shine are high. So you might want to come back over it with a microfiber towel and just do a quick touch up after doing that. But you can see the look is nice. If you want it even more matte, even less shine, give it a couple more wipes and you'll notice that it'll get less and less and less shiny. So when you're using the tire shine, remember a little bit goes a long way. And while I'd like you to use 10,000 gallons of everything we sell every day, the reality is you just don't need that much, okay? So use just a little bit, make sure and spread it out evenly with your sponge, with your pro tire sponge, and that'll make it so that it looks nice and rich and even. And if you put a ton on there, you can possibly get it to sling. It'll get all cut up in all these little ridges, like on these Pirellis. But if you have just the right amount of tire shine on there, there'll be nothing left over to sling and it'll just look perfect like this tire looks right here.